Hello everyone and welcome to this section on Power Query that is how to write M functions in Power Query. Now what does M stands for? There is no official name for this M language but most of places you will read that. So M stands for mashup, mashup means cleanup, cleanup is done in Power Query tool. Now Power Query is a ETL tool which will extract, transform and load back data. So these are all obviously interrelated and there are many many functions for M language, M functions here, approximately 900 functions. Now obviously 900 functions would be difficult to show but I'll try my best to show at least 100 plus functions in this section here. Now those functions are divided into day, text, number and so on. But I've tried to cover all the functions, small, small functions, few functions in every section here. Now, here if you observe, first video would be for introduction to M language. What is the user interface? Where do we write M functions? Where do we write M code? Then we have three videos back to back on date functions because they are most important used in the company. Then we have text functions and I'll show you how to write a basic function, a very small M code, very simple. Anybody can understand that. And at the end, uh, there's a small trick, which is a bonus video where you'll be getting 900 functions. Quickly, you'll get a help for writing all the 900 functions. No need to go to Google and no need to find any PDF document. Here itself, you'll get all the options. Now, for people who are hardcore users, who work on Excel or who work on cleaning data day and night, for them, this is very important video. Okay, for other people who work only on charts, only creating dashboards, they can, you know, keep this section aside because it contains some formulas and functions. But on the overall session, if you see, I have kept it very basic, very simple so that everybody can understand that there's nothing hardcore. There's nothing so difficult language or difficult terms I've used. Anybody can learn this. So let us see practically how to work on M functions in Power Query in the next video.